Hello everybody, today I'm here to show you how to properly lube a cube. Now I know I have one of these tutorials on my channel already, but that was very long and the directions weren't very clear, so today I'm here to make a revised version. So you're going to need the cube you want to lube. This method works for all odd layered cubes, screwdriver that fits the screws that your cube has, and some lube with hopefully in a syringe-like container. So we're going to first start off by Looking at our color scheme, make sure you know that what stickers are where or where your center caps are. So the standard is white on the top, yellow on the bottom. Then you have red, blue, and then orange opposite red, and blue opposite green. So after you know that, you can go ahead and take your caps off. The modern day speed cubes now all have removable caps. So you can take it off from this little gap. And you just want to do that for every side. So now put all your caps aside, make sure you don't lose these, and you can begin to take your cube apart. So first I usually pull out an edge piece, and you can put these to the side, and I continue and take out corners and everything. Now you can just take this apart, and make sure you just get to the core. So now that you have your core, you may want to wipe down some of your pieces if this is a stock cube because the lube doesn't always tend to be very good. And we're going to start by removing one of these centers. So after you wipe these down and you have your lube in a syringe, you're going to take your screw and you're just going to unscrew the center. Now make sure you're not stripping your screws or else you won't really be able to tension this or reassemble this. So now we can have this apart, and here we go. So there's also a washer inside, so you're going to want to take that out. And you should also have an extra sheet of paper you're working on, so you don't get any lube on it or a tissue or something, because this couldn't get messy. If the washer doesn't come out, that's fine, because the more important part is the work you're doing on your screws and your springs. So first, you're going to take your syringe and lube the inside ring around here. Now I'm just going to press this down. I'm using weight 4 from the cubicle. You want a, a thicker lube for this cores and the centers. Just make sure you're not using something very thick for your pieces. So after I've lubed the inside circle, I'm going to take my I'm going to take my spring, I'm just going to put it down in here, and next I'm going to take my screw, and I'm going to put lube around the head, like this, so you can see it, after that, just put a napkin, so now I have lube around the head. So now I have this screw, and I'm just going to put it inside. And that should be fine. So now you're going to take this, this whole set, you're going to go back to your core. You're going to stick the screw in, hold the head in place. Now you're going to take your screwdriver and just screw it in. And again, make sure you're screwing this in tight and you're not stripping the screws. And you're going to keep going and you're going to, and I've found that a reasonable tension for this three, uh, three by three cubes, it's like a penny width in between here, just a little bit of space. It's good and loose enough, with good tensions. So now you can take this. Now you're going to pull this apart. Uh, you're going to take the space in between the center and the core and you're going to put some lube in here. And now this should be spin, this spins better. It's fast. So now that you know this is completed, you can take one of your center caps and put it on. Now let me show you again. 
we're gonna unscrew one of these centers. Again, I'm gonna take the screw and the spring out. See if you can get your washer out. Moe cubes tend to not use very good washers, so you can't usually get them out. But with other cubes, you want, you're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna lube the washer, put it on this ring around the bottom, and you're gonna put the shiny side facing towards the cube. So now after you've lubed the inside ring, you're gonna put your spring in. And now let's take the screwdriver. Clumsy today. Okay, we're gonna take the screwdriver and put some lube around the head. See, I'm just spinning it around. And now we can just stick this in. If you've ever heard the spring noises when you're solving your cube, that's usually from the spring and the screwdriver uh, rubbing against each other or while the cube is moving. So lubing it like this will prevent any more spring noises during solves. So now just screw this back in. That looks about good. Make sure it's even with the other side. And you can put some lube in between the core and the center. Like right around here. That should be fine. It spins well. Okay, so opposite of green is typically blue. So I'm gonna put the blue center cap in. So basically this process is a bit tedious, but you just repeat this for all six sides and I'll do the rest of them in time lapse. But if you need to go along or need more instructions, just go back or pause the video. So I've now finished lubing my core. It spins well and we're going to assemble this. So. Hopefully you have put all your centers back in the right spots. Again, red, blue, orange, green, and with white on top and yellow on the bottom. So take any edge piece. I took white and green, and you're just gonna put it in the correct spot, like so. And we're gonna start building out a bottom layer. So now find the corner that matches with this. I have white, green, and orange. Put them in the right spots. And now we're gonna take, if it moves around, just put it back into place because while you're assembling it, pieces are bound to move. So now I'm gonna take the white, orange, and edge piece right here. I'm just gonna put it in. Now you can just flatten it out on the surface and continue building out. So I need white, orange, and blue. Look at your center pieces for reference for what piece you're going to need. Here's the piece, so I'm just going to put it in. And now I need the blue edge. So if you can't directly stick it in right here like I can, you can always put it in the side, through, in through the side and slide it down. And now I just need the last edges. So now that you have a full layer, you can just put on the table or your surface that you're working on. And you can stick edges on the sides in now. So here's one piece, red, orange and green. So if you wanted to put any lube on the pieces you would hopefully have a thinner lube than the one you use on the core and you could put it on one of these edge pieces right along the tracks here or on the surfaces here or you can put on one of these bottom pieces down here 
just on a piece where it would be moved a lot. So we can put this right back in here if you, and now if you use lube, you would put lube right around these tracks. So you see the circle and you can put some on the inside. Just don't put too much or else it becomes gummy and it becomes slow and it's not a pleasant feeling. So you can put a corner in now and now take an edge, put in another edge so you have a corner chunk and put in another corner and put in another edge, which you can do by putting it in at this angle and moving it over. Now, if you're going to put lube on the pieces, you could either put it around the track or you can put it on one of these corner pieces at the stalks right here. And it's contact points with other pieces. As you can see right here, it'd be right this little area and this point right here. So now you can put that corner in. Just put the stock into this hole and put the other corner in because it's easier to put the edge in last rather than the corner. And hopefully if you turn this top layer at a 45 degree angle, you can take your edge piece and fit it in. So now you have a fully lube cube and you can do some scrambles to mix the lube around. But this makes your cube turn much quicker and smoother. And this is a really good process. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys lube your cube. If it does, comment in, down below or you can leave a like. If you have any feedback or anything you want to say, just put it in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.